I'm Bo Larsen. I'm director with the Cruise Baltic project. One of the reasons for joining together in this project is obviously to increase the knowledge level, especially in the US and the UK market, which goes for a lot of our customers as well. In order to do that, um, we've noticed that a lot of our customers, they know Copenhagen in Denmark, they know Oslo in uh, Norway, they know Stockholm in Sweden, they know Helsinki in Finland, and obviously one of the big attractions is also St. Petersburg in Russia. But today the customers, they want diversity and they want to see and experience new destinations. And that's one of the really important tools uh, in this project is all the variety we offer in destinations. So we've seen uh, destinations like Klaipeda in Lithuania, Riga in Latvia, Tallinn in Estonia, Gdynia in Poland. Hello, my name um, is Marius so I'm representing the show excursions operator Krantas Travel, which is in the port of Klaipeda. And port of Klaipeda, as you know, is in a nice, very nice country called Lithuania. And uh, Lithuania is famous for, for a beautiful nature, for a nice traditional girls and beautiful town of Klaipeda. Now whenever you come to Lithuania, be sure to visit Klaipeda itself first of all. And besides Klaipeda, take your opportunity to visit a Koronian Spit National Park, which has the biggest sand dunes in the Europe. Uh, besides Koronian Spit National Park, you should visit also the world famous Balanga Amber Museum. Now here on your screen you can see the port and how the old town looks of Klaipeda. You can see that clearly that you can easily reach from the terminal, you can reach the old town of Klaipeda. Everything is on your just walking distance and then from there you can take shore excursions that take you all around Klaipeda including the Vente Cape, Koronian Spit and Palanga including the world known Amber Museum. Now, of course, when you take, you have more time afterwards, you, you leave Klaipeda, you can also take your opportunity to take a bus and go to Vilnius, the capital town of our country. And in Vilnius, you can also see uh, a lot of interesting places that represent our culture, our history. Now on your screen, you have a nice bird view over the Klaipeda, over here, the whole town, and the famous Koronian Spit National Park where you can also enjoy beautiful nature, beautiful sand dunes and of course the nice and unique history that we have here in this part of Lithuania. My name is Anne. I'm from Copenhagen and I represent the Cruise Copenhagen Network which is an association that is uh, dedicated to promoting Copenhagen as a cruise destination. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about the city of Copenhagen. Um, here we have the map, and I'll show you. This is the city center. Out here is the main cruise piers. These are located very close to the city, so it's actually within walking distance. One very popular walk to the city is from here, Langelinia. You will actually pass by this park where the Little Mermaid is situated and then you go further down here you pass by the uh, royal castle we have a, a royal family that they actually reside here in the castle you walk along the uh, piers all the way into the city center and uh, this area is sort of an entertainment district where we had lots of cafes and outdoor restaurants and so on it used to be what we call the uh, old sailors quarters a red light district uh, but now it's cleaned up and uh, it's a very popular place to meet, you know, after work, after hours. And, uh... So now you're in the city center, which is here. All the purple streets are walking street areas. So there are no cars, just a lot of shops and a very popular shopping district with all the major brands and also lots of Danish, um, uh, Danish brands and clothes and shoes and everything you find. Then if you go up here, now it'll take you to the city hall. And then one a popular, very popular attraction, probably the most famous one we have is Tivoli Gardens, an amusement park. They say actually that um, Disney came to this park in the 50s and got inspired 